Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. And last time we got attacked and separated by Dar, not Dart's Dragon, Rose's Dragon. And this time we're going to find out why. However, we need to proceed first. Now, this is kind of an interesting little setup here, and I'll get into that in a moment. But first, let's meet the dragon. You know this place. From when? It's not, it's not even from where with Rose. It's always from what time in your extremely long life did you know this place? So, probably 11,000 years ago, or so. Oh, there's Zeke. Now what's going on here? So, I'm assuming what happened here is they beat the dragon, the dark dragon and gained the Dragoon Spirit in that manner, because if we recall what Loy did after we beat the Divine Dragon, that's how he was able to obtain the Dragoon Stone. And so I think they came here purposely to kill the dragon to obtain the Dragoon Stone. Yeah. And in doing so, she becomes a Dragoon. And, for whatever reason, the newborn dragon is there instantly, although this never happened when we defeated the divine dragon, so who knows. They're just making things up at this point, but it needs a name. The Black Burst Dragon Michael. Kind of an odd name, but sure, why not? Now. I haven't looked it up, but does Vassal Dragon, does the term Vassal refer to a young dragon or a young something or other? I probably should have looked that up, but laziness and uh, lack of time and all that jazz, so. Anyway, we have a brand new baby dragon. Now, if only we had a thousand years, we would have a bigger dragon. And with war imminent, we jump forward 11,000 years, and the dragon, who appears to be, you know, stone, comes to life and initiates boss time. Now, this boss is going to be a little different than a lot of others in how I approach it. And he didn't actually use his buff attack on the first go. Okay, he's going to attack multiple times instead. That works. Now, the way you're supposed to deal with this fight is... Uh, I'm going to start with slow down. Uh, I would leave power down until later, or speed down, slow down, whatever. Now, I'm going to do part of this fight in fast forward because it just takes too long. I'm going to guard with dart, speed down with rose, and then, let's see here. Let's try and attack him. Oops, I screwed up, but it doesn't matter. Because you can't actually do any damage to this guy. Now, because he's the dark dragon, he attacks with uh, dark elemental attacks. Which means that Rose can avoid them with the dark dragoon armor, which is what she's currently equipping. At least I think it is. If not, she's probably got the uh, rainbow dress on to, for, to protect against status because the enemies around here use them. But it doesn't seem to be working. Apparently he's nothing but a beast at this point. Yeah, but Fairybrand wasn't all that... Uh, they forgot the Y there. Or no, they didn't. There it is. Anyway, um... Eyes don't work. But yeah, the, he wasn't all that wild. He was actually tamed and being controlled by... I don't know, Dole or Graham or whoever was controlling him, but someone was controlling him on the Sandoran side. Anyway, uh, we can't do any damage to him, so I'm just going to do post and make this go fast, but I'm basically just going to guard a whole crap load of times. Okay, so I sped this one up to 200% and I got distracted a couple times, which is why it's taken me so long to guard, but... There's not really a lot to say about this boss fight, which is why I 
decided to speed most of it up. It's basically just me guarding repeatedly. Now, he's got a number of attacks, and the Dark Dragoon armor would have been very beneficial, but I've got to put it on, so Rose is taking some damage. But with the Therapy Ring and guarding, it's really not anything to worry about. Um, Dart is actually kind of vulnerable if you don't have like the right setup for him, you know. If he doesn't have, like, say, additional life, because without guarding, right now, with his stats the way they are, he gets, uh... I think he takes 1200 some odd damage, 1300 damage from the guy, so that's quite a bit with his base HP of being, I think it's, what, uh, 3300, something like that. But, uh, yeah, so definitely, uh, you wanna either give him a Dragon Helm, or if you take the Soul Eater off, just give him a Therapy Ring. Something to increase his survivability a little bit would be helpful. Um, he's gonna keep using this super attack, which is, you know, pretty powerful, but, you know, with, third, you know, guarding the whole time, it really doesn't matter. As uh, Dart was saying there, we have no way of damaging this. You can try using magic as well. It's going to do zero damage. Everything does zero damage to this guy. And it's because of his special armor. Blocks enemy attacks. So what are we going to do, Rose? There's a blind spot. Well, tell me that damn blind spot. What's wrong with you? And more guardings. And more attacks that really don't hurt all that much. Yeah, they're really just... There's not much to this boss fight. As far as boss fights against dragons go, it's really kind of dull. Uh, it's just guarding. A lot of guarding. It's just like, uh... Oh, what was it? Ultima 3? Go through the entire effort of trying to beat this guy. And here we've got uh, an option. If you don't select tell him, the battle continues and you get the same option over and over again. But it's like Ultima 3. You go through all this effort to beat up this super boss and then you beat it with punch cards. Anyway. So yeah. Now, once we've learned about the blind spot, which is as soon as he does his super attack there, he opens up for a moment. So we have to wait for him to use that attack, which means more guarding. Which is the only reason this boss fight takes any amount of time at all, and it really just doesn't make a lot of sense. But, whatever. So, eventually, he will use the attack on me. There we go. And then we can go to him and take him out. Oddly enough, once we get the ability to target him, we can use power up and actually one-shot the guy, which is pretty sad, but it's not the original target, it's the core, and you have to select over in order to find it. And a chipmunk doing Blazing Dynamo. And he's one shot, and that's pretty much all there is to the boss fight. So yeah, as far as uh, fights against dragons go, that was kind of uh, tedious and kind of annoying. Anyway, for defeating that, uh, it's the only non-solo quest, and for it, instead of 6,000 experience, we get 12,000 split between the two, so... Half of one, and, uh, you know, 50% of another, and all that jazz, so... Anyway, with that out of the way, we can finally move on. But its heart is not capable of the same endurance. So, in other words, we kill the dragon via heart attack. There is a, um, a Death Note reference in there somewhere. Go find it. <laughs> anyway, becomes savage and starts to blindly attack people. Won't listen to the orders of the Dragoons either. Though it kind of seems odd. Oh. Well, that's, uh... Yeah. Rose, you've killed a lot of people. And dragons. And winglies. Pretty much everything. Yeah, that's pretty much her reason for existence, is to keep the world alive. We already know what's important, and that's finding our characters, finding the plot, and getting through this long-ass dungeon. As far as, you know, final dungeons go, I'm not actually a big fan of this final dungeon. It just, it drags so much, and it just takes forever. And there are some new enemies here, but I'll show them later. Once I have a full party, anyway. However, in order to obtain said party members, we come here, which looks like it's a new area. However, if you go over here... 
it leads back to the uh, the forest and the grassland and all that stuff. So basically they just changed the map without really telling us. I don't know why they didn't just plot wall us away from the left exit so that we couldn't go there, but oh, whatever. When we came here the first time, it was just um, one path from the forest to here. Now there's another part in there and they don't really explain how that happens. Then again, they don't explain a lot of what happens around here. And I guess it works in one way. And in others, it doesn't. So, to each his own, I guess. You look... God, they look bad. Just tell them they look all right. You guys look fine. Anyway, let's exchange information. We haven't really learned anything. We learned a little bit about Dole, and a little bit about Congo, and a little bit of... about, you know, Rose's Bath past, which would probably make for an interesting prequel to this game. Just saying, come on Sony, work on it! Anyway, so let's we get through this please, thank you. Anyway, when we meet Dole. We're going to have to see him in order to proceed, given the facts so far. So why? I I'm confused. Anyway, in order to proceed, we need to go uh, and talk to Dole, which is going to be Albert's quest. So, my well, I'm going to use the same party because they still need to work on additions, but I will give uh, Albert the equipment he needs for the boss fight, and I'll be right back. And with that all figured out, we can move on. Yeah, the, the equipment for Albert, not uh, particularly surprising, is speed gear. Pretty much everything he needs. Anyway, he's back. Anything else? Apparently Emperor Dole did what Carlo could not. And you say the same thing. So in order to proceed, we go over and talk to these two guys over here. How have you been waiting for him? This is 20 years ago. Dole should not recognize Albert as an adult. He should recognize him as a child. I don't know why they just changed sides, but okay. <laughs> kind of weird. Anyway, very reminiscent of Dole's throne room in reality. And of course he proceeds while the others remain behind. Oh, so you have. Of course he knows why I'm here. I've traveled through time and a whole bunch of other BS and now I'm here to kill you. Oh, I guess you could figure out why you uh, killed his father as well. Yes, you've already said that, actually, I believe, on disc one. Okay. How would you know? Oh, well, we never heard anything about that. Huh. Apparently, Albert was told lies. That does, that still remains. Assassination, as we've seen in reality uh, over the last number of months, doesn't seem to work very well in usurping control and sustained power over a country. Defeat me to find out the rest. So, this boss, we won't need to uh, have a, a different setup and fast forward through way too many guards. However, there's not a lot we can do with this fight. I wonder if he says anything if I guard. I'm not going to be guarding for half an hour like the other one, but in this fight, there's actually three different parts to this guy. Does he not attack me? See that slow? 
Anyway, he's got a shadow blade and a light sword. So, in order to proceed, we need to defeat these things. Oops. I flinched. <laughs> you can actually one-shot both those swords. But, unfortunately, I screwed up. So, let's try that again. That's better. Yeah, I can't remember. I think they have about a thousand HP. It's, it's not a lot, really. As soon as you defeat the sword, it uh, disintegrates. They desire your power. The people want peace. You oppress people. Yeah, so this is basically Albert's whole plotline that was begun way back on disc one. And it deals with a lot more of the political aspect than I really would have cared for, but I guess it does make sense for it being Albert. He is, you know, the current king of Sergio, even if he's, you know, off gallivanting with uh, his friends. So persistent. Anyway, with uh, one sword down, we can take out the other sword. I think those swords do have attacks. For some reason, they're not attacking me, so... Anyway, we end these swords. We can't actually target Dole himself until we take out the swords. Once we take out the swords... We get some more dialogue. Uh, level grinding? No. We haven't been doing a lot of level grinding. Really, every time I take a break to, you know, level up some additions, which is pretty much all the grinding I've been doing, you fight, you know, up to 10 battles. It takes, you know, without fast forward, I'm assuming no more than 20 minutes. And that's pretty much it. It's not really a lot by any stretch, and you're not gaining a lot of power, but you are gaining the ability to go through the game by using all the additions instead of having to, you know, go and face the final boss with, you know, level 4 additions or something like that and never even seeing the ultimate additions, which I think is a waste. Uh, there's two M's on that I'm at the start there. Yeah, nice little typo. I haven't noticed all the typos in this game, but I have noticed a bunch of them. Oh? Oh, so he relied on Dole, and then Dole killed him. What did he see in you? That's probably true. If he had brought him on... Now he's... It's kind of weird with this whole fight, because he's saying one thing, how Carlo was nothing, and now he's a mere shadow of Carlo, and he couldn't ever live up to what he was, and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He's kind of schizophrenic throughout this whole little scene here, but... Anyway, now we can use some magic on me, which, again, all of these solo fights are painfully easy. They're not meant to be challenging. They're just here. So, to basically explain story more than anything else, and give you a small amount of experience. So it's not... Oops. It's not like you're going to be completely screwed if you you know haven't been using a certain character they don't put that on you so that's at least nice of them even a lower level character wouldn't have much of a damn it I keep talking over additions and I'm screwing them up alright that's it what the hell I screwed up three in a row alright Okay, I'm going to stop talking during additions because apparently that screws me up to the point where I can't do anything. And, well, yeah, he's pretty much toast. Or at least the darkness is, because it floats away there. Uh, because your power doesn't exceed mine. You are pathetically weak, and, yeah... You have to win for them. Yeah. So yeah, friendship, the heart of the cards, whatever. 
that's the thing they're trying to get across. Oh, well that's an interesting set of last words to say to your killer. Take care of my country and my son. By the way, I'll see you in hell. Pretty much. The rest depends on you. Apparently he's starting to come back from the darkness and then he's gone. Anyway, we make it through this battle, get some experience, and get my Dragoon level maxed out. Finally getting the Dra Jade Dragon Summon, which I will show off in some random battle because I'll never use it in a boss fight. Same with Kongles, I don't think I've shown off his Golden Dragon yet. So, the Annihilation of the World is something that the God of Destruction wants. So we gotta avoid that at all costs. So let's save the world, Shauna, and everything else, and let's see if we can get through this. Anyway, nope, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. Next time, we will continue forward, and I think there's only one more solo quest left to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.